quality of life is a major problem in MDS patients. Um, we have that experience in our national registry as well, that compared to age-matched controls, MDS patients have more fatigue, more dyspnea, de decreased physical functioning, decreased social functioning, financial stressors, um, more anxiety, and decreased overall global quality of life. That's well established by us and others. And as I mentioned before, we know some of the predictors are hemoglobin and transfusion dependence, but it's probably also intrinsic to maybe the inflammation associated with MDS, um, which, which we, we, we we're trying to address right now. And uh, we heard about all the um, anti-inflammatory uh, treatments that are being looked at in early low-risk MDS to target the inflammasome. Um, so it's conceivable that they may also have some beneficial effects, but specific to anemia and transfusion dependence, if you can't fix the transfusion dependence, my belief is that we should be transfusing patients at higher hemoglobin thresholds than are currently being done. So that may improve symptom and function scores. Um, and. Um, I think uh, other measures that need to be encouraged for MDS patients is exercise because I think exercise is, improves across the board well-being, uh, improves the body's ability to tolerate anemia, um, and can also lead to improved uh, social interaction. So uh, I would recommend that MDS patients not give up on exercise and uh, as, as much as they can, especially immediately after transfusions when their hemoglobin's been optimized, that they, um, that they, they, they try to exercise as much as possible.